Hi, this is Sir Aris. Let us talk about uh, some basic mathematical models and also direction fields. So here we will see uh, quantities that we often would encounter in our study of differential equations. So in many of the principles or laws underlying behavior of na the natural world, are statements or relations involving rates at which things happen. So in mathematical terms, we write these relations uh, as equations and the rates as derivatives. So equations uh, containing derivatives are called differential equations. In a mathematical model of a process, the differential equation uh, describes the physical process or mathematical model is a differential equation that describes the physical process. Let us consider an example. Suppose you have an object falling in the atmosphere near sea level, uh, formulate a differential equation that describes the motion. So first let us uh, identify and set the variables. So we assign t as the time measure, which is measured in seconds, v for our velocity in meters per second. Um, for now, let's assume v is positive in downward direction. So the principle uh, that we can use to describe the falling object is Newton's second law. So in this case, the force is equal to ma, where m is the mass of the object in kilograms. A is the acceleration in meters per second squared, and F is the net force exerted on the object in newtons. So A, or the acceleration, is related to V by the derivative A equals derivative of V with respect to T. So we can write F equals MA to F equals M times derivative of V with respect to T. Now let's consider the forces uh, that are possibly most likely acting on the object. Uh, for sure, we know there is weight equal to mg, where g is the acceleration due to gravity 9.8 meter per second squared. We may also have drag force. So um, drag force is, can, can be, we can think of it as the resistance or friction due to air resistance. So we assume that it's proportional to the velocity. So gamma is uh, an object-dependent drag coefficient. V is the velocity. So the, the net force along the downward direction can be written as mg minus gamma v directed upward. So Newton's sec, uh, first law can be written, now becomes, um, m dv by dt equals mg minus gamma v. So this is a mathematical model of a falling object in the atmosphere near the sea level. Okay, so I'm just checking this, the previous slide. So this is supposed to be second law, Newton's second law. Um, so now we can uh, analyze the equation without even solving uh, that differential equation. Suppose we use uh, m as 10 kilograms and gamma as 2 kilogram per second. Um, then we can write our differential equation as dv by dt equals 9.8 meter per second squared minus 1 over 5 second uh, v. Now suppose we set v as 40 meters per second, then we get dv by dt as 1.8 meter per second squared. What it tells us is that um, the, if v has a value of 40 meters per second, then uh, the slope of v would have a value of 1.8 meter per second if we create a plot of uh, dv by, or, or v with respect to time. So uh, that happens at any point where V is 40 meters per second. Now if V is 50 meters per second, 
then uh, the derivative dv by dt is negative 0.2 meters per second or the slope of v in a plot of v versus t would have a value of negative 0.2 meters per second at any point where v is 50 meters per second. So if we create a plot of velocity versus time, we see that if the velocity is uh, 40, the slope is 1.8. So here in this figure, the slope is uh, one, a slope of 1.8 would have a color of uh, something around red. So here, uh, for this line where the slope is, or, or the speed is 40, we see red lines corresponding to slope of 1.8. Um, so for a uh, velocity of 50, so it's somewhere here, the slope is negative 0.2, so negative 0.2 would be around green to blue. So we see here a slope of negative 0.2. So the figure shown is an example of a direction field. This is also called a slope field. In uh, direction fields, we can analyze uh, this one by looking at a critical, critical point. We see it at 49 meters per second so that uh, the derivative is zero. So at this point, we see uh, the lines tending towards um, horizontal direction. So the streamlines are uh, horizontal or the slope is zero. Now, if V is less than the crit critical value, the streamlines have positive slopes. What, is, what it means is that the speed of the falling object increases as it falls. Now, for V greater than uh, zero, the streamlines have negative slope, so the falling object slows down. Um, this critical point, the horizontal line, is called an equi equilibrium solution. So if, we, if the velocity reaches that point, it will not change with time. And this corresponds to a situation where there's a balance between gravity and drag. So um, let us consider some steps that may help us in formulating mathematical models. First, we identify the independent and dependent variables and assign letters to represent them. Second, we choose the units of measurements for each variable. Third, articulate the basic principle that underlies or governs the problem you are investigating. So for example, Newton's second law in, in the example. So express the principle in variables. Then, make sure that all of your terms have the same physical unit. So this is a good check uh, that your equation uh, may work if um, the units are consistent. If they're not, then th there should be something wrong. Um, some mathematical models may be complicated, so perhaps it, in, it may involve system of several differential equations.